Hello and welcome back to JBCTR, where today we're fitting a selection of chassis stiffening products to the GR Yaris. Okay, so before we get going, let's have a look at what we've got. Now, in the interest of transparency, DNA Racing saw the seat lowering video. They were very impressed with my work, which is quite nice. Um, and they agreed to send me some more parts. So I had a quick look through their website. I really like their chassis stiffening kit because it's, well, it looks sweet, as you'll see in a second. Um, and it's a DIY fit. So uh, yeah, that's kind of why I chose this slot. And uh, here it is. So to start, we'll pick up the biggest piece, which is this here. Now this is a lower brace chassis stiffening kit, which of course you'll see when we get it on the car. CNC milled from a billet of aluminium and you can even see where they've milled it out, which is quite cool. Uh, you also got a lower tie brace, which goes kind of next to where this will be fitted, which again, you'll see when we fit this. Uh, over here, we have some really swanky stuff. Uh, this is the carbon fiber front strap brace. This should be probably the easiest to fit, which again, I'll show you in a second. And then lastly, we have the rear strut brace. Again, carbon fiber, be in the interior of your car, and I think it will look quite sweet. So without further ado, let's get into the fitting. So in terms of fitting, we'll start with the easiest to fit, which is gonna be the front upper strut brace, and then we'll get gradually harder as we go through the video. And then by the end, we should have a super stiff GI Yaris. When you open the bonnet, you'll see that Toyota have provided us with all the fixings we need to fit this brace. So it's time to grab our kit and simply slot it into position. You may need to move these neoprene moulds, but otherwise it's a straightforward fit. Now time for tools. Grab the 10mm socket and the ratchet. If you've not got a socket set, they're cheap enough to buy and always handy to have around. I've dropped a link to a decent set in the description. And now all you need to do is tighten down all six fixings and remember to include these washers. I then gave the engine bay a quick spruce up with some sugar coat before admiring the new strut brace. Well, I told you we were gonna start easy and uh, that is six nuts onto six bolts that are already in the car and you're done. And I think it looks absolutely mega. So you've got the carbon fiber that pops quite nicely against the plain black, and then the red anodized end caps kind of match what's already in the engine bay from standard. So I think this looks really cool, and I'd be intrigued to see just how much chassis stiffening it adds. But anyway, next up, we're gonna do the one in the rear, which is a little more involved. Firstly, we need to remove the boot floor, which couldn't be easier. Then we need to chuck down the rear seats, which will allow you to remove the boot floor supports. Once the boot floor is out of the way, you'll need to remove these poppers that hold on the internal lining. There is a clip at the top, which unfortunately I broke, so be careful here. Then of course, you need to repeat the process for the other side. Next, you need to remove this bolt, and this is where your brace will attach onto. With a bit of measuring and a huge amount of luck, I managed to make a hole in the lining at just about the right place for the new bolts. When you are confident that you have your lining hole in the right place, you can refit the trims and then repeat the process on the other side. To attach the brace, it's best to put the bolts through the fitting holes first. You can then attach them to the car. If you wish to use the additional supports, be sure to slide the bracket onto the carbon before fitting. Before you tighten the bolts too much, remember to twist the bar to cover the access ports. Adding the supports is simple enough as you bolt them onto the centre bracket and then bolt the other end into these pre-existing holes. Of course, you'll need to do this on both sides. When you are done, tighten up the centre bracket to give additional support but remember that this is clamping carbon. Don't over tighten here as you can damage the brace. And we're done! Very race car! but we have one slight issue, and that is that you can't refit the boot floor with the cool looking support struts. So for me, that means the struts have to come back out as this is a daily. But if you are using this car solely for track purposes, 
this might be a good option for you. Then of course the last thing to do is to rebuild the boot now the struts are out the way. I think the carbon brace on its own looks absolutely wicked and I can enjoy this one day in day out as it's super visible. So that is the rear brace fitted as promised a little bit more involved than the front one and then tomorrow we're going to do the underbody bracing which is even more involved again so uh yeah catch you in a second now unfortunately this video hasn't gone entirely to plan as the first half has been sat in my drafts for a very long time so i thought i'd release the first half so that you can see the carbon goodies in all their glory and then when i get a chance We'll get the car up in the air and we'll fit this lovely piece and with that i think we'll leave it there so if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of me cars and this thing being fitted make sure you're subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>